Margin Phi could be the next largest airdrop on Solana. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys step by step on how to earn the most points. So let's dive right into it. But before, use the link below to sign up for MarginFi so you can earn the most amount of points and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on any crypto opportunities, trades, airdrops, and the hottest news because the market is just flying and we're gonna get rich together. So let's go into the point system and how to earn points and I'll go over exactly what you need to do. There are three ways for you to earn points. Any user with current deposits on Mar MarginFi has been earning points in the background. Every dollar lent earns one point per day. And if we go to borrows, every dollar borrowed earns four points per day. And that's the two ways to do it. The third way is by earning points through referrals. A referring user will get 10% of the points the users they refer earn. These are not reduced from the referred user's balance. They can still earn points at the same rate outlined above. Additionally, referring users will earn 10% of the 10% of any user they refer earns from referring other users. This continues down the line. So it's much appreciated if you guys use the link below if you don't have uh, an account already. Let's get right into doing the damn thing and earning some points. So what we're going to do is we are going to lend, we are going to borrow, and then we are also going to get some soul state. And let's do this by, we have 17 soul in this wallet. We're going to supply, so we're going to lend one soul. And after, we'll do this later, but after we do this, I'll show you guys uh, the numbers because I have a spreadsheet right here I found on, on Twitter. I'm going to also share the link so you guys can input uh, your figures and see how much of an airdrop you could potentially get. This isn't guaranteed, um, but this is a great way to figure out how much money you need to put up for that amount of airdrop. So we'll go back to margin fire right here. You can see that I supplied one soul it's depositing it right now and after we do so we are actually going to borrow and you don't only need to airdrop farm here you can actually build strategies over collateralized strategies and leverage um this to earn more money to earn more soul to earn more gains and not only that you will be earning that airdrop. So I just deposited one more soul. You can see my account here. I have $78, supplying 82, borrowing $4, and I have a pretty healthy score right now. And you can see I have $60, that's free. So now we're going to go and borrow. I just deposited one soul. We are actually going to borrow USDC. So if I go to max, I can borrow 45 USDC. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, awesome. And I'm going to show you guys a strategy that I'm using. So we just borrowed 45 USD. If we go to the swap function right now, we have USDC and we are just waiting for it to hit right here. Awesome. So the 45 USD that I borrowed, I'm actually going to pile that into more soul. So you can see here, I'm going to swap and I'm going to get 0 0.6 soul and you can just keep building that uh, cycle where now you put the soul back in, you get more USDC and then you just keep doing that until you can't do it anymore. And you do need to watch out for the health score. You might need to supply a little bit more if soul really pulls back. But this is a better way than being over leveraged in a high leverage position. So you can see my health is 25% now and I borrowed a 0.6 soul. So if I supply a half of a soul again, we're going to keep doing this. Deposit 0.5 soul. And now I can borrow more USDC. I can borrow more soul, whatever I want to do. You can build a, a really great strategy, a really profitable strategy doing this. So I deposited more soul. And not only am I uh, building a great position on soul, I'm earning airdrop points. So when this airdrop comes, I can have a fat stack. I can have a fat airdrop. And what am I going to do? 
Maybe I'll put it in Seoul because I'm super bullish on Seoul and it'll just keep compounding those gains. So you can see that I've supplied more Seoul. We're going to go back to borrow now. And, you know, some people might think this is stupid. Some people might have better um, a better strategy, but I'm fine with this. I'm not risking too much. And you should never be going all in. You should never be risking all your soul. Um, that's super degen. So we're going to do this one more time. And then while we're doing that, actually, we could go to earn. Uh, let's actually go to stake. So LST is liquid staking token, the highest natural yield available from any LST on Solana by law. LST is the highest natural yielding LST. LST is powered by Jido's men boosted clients. And LST only stakes to 0% uh, commission from margin validators. And for more info, you can go here and read, using margin sophisticated validators set you pay no fees, earn more yields, and get more utility out of your stake stole so from anywhere else. Maximum liquidity with Sancta, maximum member rewards with Jido, maximum utility with Margin Fi, maximum fit flexibility with the Solana DeFi. So if we go zero, uh, actually 1.26 it says, we can get one LST. So let's go ahead and mint that. And we'll go back after and we will keep running that cycle. I have 25 USDC that I could buy more soul with and then I could supply that soul again and earn more points. So it's beautiful. So while we're minting that, let's go back to lend, let's go to borrow and let's go to soul. Actually, I need to go to swap because I have $25 right here and we're gonna buy more soul. So let's go and get some more soul, swap, confirm. We got 0 0.3 this time. Confirm because you get four points for borrowing. So why not leverage it and borrow as much as possible? And maybe if I do get wiped out and I that have to see Solana doing a major pullback and it's been on a tear, so it is extremely possible. You don't have to follow me because I'm a DGen, but let's go back to borrow. We got 0 0.3 soul. So now we could borrow. The max I could borrow is Oh no, I need to I need to lend it first. My bad. So I got an extra 0 0.3. We are going to supply that. I already minted LST, so I'm happy. And confirm. We lent another 0 0.3. I wanted to go loan my LST, but you can see the limit is reached. There's a ton of people on this platform. So we'll do the cycle one more time and we will borrow more USDC, so 15 more dollars, and because the more you borrow, the more points you get. So we wanna do this as many times as possible, and while we do that, we'll go back to this uh, airdrop calculator, um, which gives you an approximate, uh, and it could be totally wrong, so I'm not sure I found this on Twitter, Shout out to the man who made it. I couldn't find the original tweet after. It was late last night. So let's say that you want to do $1,000 supplied and you want to borrow $500. Your airdrop would be approximately $855. And that's contingent if the, sorry, that's a soul chart and it's absolutely ripping. And that's contingent if the TVL stays the same, but I don't think so because the Solana airdrop narrative is just crushing it. People are, are flocking here to find the next Jido, to find the next huge paycheck. So you can see um, it's, it's just exploded. A lot of the pools are full and I would get approximately $855. Of course, if we did 10X that, so $10,000 and $5,000, an airdrop of about 8K. And if the market keeps pushing upwards and you did a, a great strategy like what I'm doing, you're just going to have more profits, more soul at the end of the day or whatever coin you're looking to lend, borrow, and do the cycle over and over again. So I need to swap, and we'll do it one more time, $15 into soul, 0.2 this time. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we're going to go back to lend. We're gonna give that 0 0.2 up. Let's see the max I have. Oh, this is to lend actually. We're running it one more time. And as I mentioned, this could go on 
for a long time if I keep doing this. And we can see that my health is at 32%. I have $19 free right now. I've supplied $166 and I've borrowed $90. So if we go back to the borrow section, um, go back to USDC, now I have $14. And you, you get the picture. I'm just stacking points and I'm and these protocols are amazing. I wish centralized exchanges allowed you to do something like this, but they make their money on fees and people getting these positions by using margin. That's why we have margin fine. So we are going to borrow that and I'll end the video here because I'm gonna run this cycle a few more times. Maybe I'll deposit more soul. I will post this as well so you can use this and determine how much you wanna invest also, you don't need to be as degen as I am. Use the link below to sign up. Hit that subscribe button. We'll be delivering major opportunities from airdrops, trades, anything that's going to make us rich. Appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.